The last strike of this size was more than 20 years ago. We just want something that's fair. Nobody strikes for fun. The biggest sticking point is pay. The union saying their wages haven't kept up with the cost of living. We're asking for less than the rate of inflation. The Treasury Board says it's offering a wage bump of 9% over three years. The union says it's asking for 13.5% for the same period. My grocery bill goes up. I have the 2019 amount of money to pay for it. That's what it is. Crofton Steers has worked for the federal government since 2005. This is his first strike. With a young family to raise, he's feeling stretched. We're not looking for a big increase in, in salary. We're just looking to keep pace. It's a sentiment echoed by workers of all stripes, frustrated by months of red-hot inflation. Other labor disputes could be brewing, placing issues of pay front and center. Today at airports across the country, flight attendants rallied. We are no longer interested in not being paid for the work that we do. Nurses, too, are demanding better contracts and are planning a day of action this weekend in Ontario. High inflation for a persistent amount of time has meant that workers have fallen backwards and they're looking, they're rediscovering the right to strike to get ahead. This labour professor says the tight labour market works in the union's favour. And the outcome of the federal workers' strike could spark similar demands across the public and private sectors. Whenever a union has a win at the bargaining table, that's contagious. So all eyes are on these negotiations. Many economists say a wave of higher wage settlements could slow the fight against inflation, though there's been no sign of that just yet. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.